Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode six. Six? Episode six of Heart to Heart. There it is. On today's episode, we're going to talk about what do you do as a photographer if your client doesn't like their photographs, specifically doesn't like their engagement photographs. Hello everyone, my name is Ben Hartley with Six Figure Photography and Style and Story Creative. Style and Story, to give context, is a wedding photography studio here in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, we do a lot of weddings, you guys. We try to be the best, the best at one thing. And so I've got a lot of experience with this. We need to talk about the question of what happens when a client doesn't like their engagement pictures. Uh, Michael, have you ever had somebody not like their engagement pictures? Has that happened to you? has yeah it's happened to the best of us so for starters let's lay the foundation and understand this as artists as creatives and as solopreneurs business owners um we i think the sooner you can also recognize the fact that you at some point will let somebody down the better like you cannot make every single person 100 percent happy at all times and so when that time does come i want to empathize with you i know how deeply it hits because you put everything into it you pour everything into it you pour everything into your artwork into and for your clients when somebody says they don't like their photographs it like crushes our world because that's the absolute last thing that we ever would want to happen or ever imagine happening. And so I get it. Let's talk about what to do if that solution, or if, sorry, if that situation, uh, if you ever encounter it. So for starters, you need to get real self-aware real quick. When somebody says they don't like their pictures, um, you really need to have a check with yourself and understand, um, is this uh, on you? or is this on them? Let's kind of break this down for a second. It can very well, it may very well likely be on you. Meaning this, you done gone messed up, right? You are uh, out of focus, composition's not very good, direction's not very good, whatever it is, it was on you. But just as much, you guys, this can also be on the client. Maybe they didn't like um, the way that they felt that day. Maybe there was something going on um, with their own kind of issues and of, of their own appearance. Um, there could be any number of things um, that they didn't like how they looked. Um, and they're asking, they're letting you know that they didn't like the photographs. Maybe thinking that you were gonna solve kind of that problem and it came back and the images weren't how they maybe envisioned them to be. Um, nevertheless, the, you still need to do something about it. Whether it or not, it's the client all in their head. Maybe they just don't like the way that they look. Like the end of the day, you need to do something about it. And so the first step would be this. You really need to get to the heart of why your client doesn't like their pictures. Because they may tell you, they're gonna say this like, hey, I, you know, I really wasn't a fan of the, the pictures. Maybe I wasn't a fan of the location. Um, whatever it may be, it I imagine it was gonna be something else. You really need to get specific and learn what do they not like about the pictures. Is it just the editing? Michael, it could just be the editing. They may admit, like, they may look at the photographs and they may be like, why am I all pale and washed out in the pictures? I'm not pale, I'm tan. Re-edit the pictures, right, Michael? Um, that could be a solution. So you, the only way to find this out though, you guys, is please, when you have a problem, whenever there is a conflict of any sort, whether it be the engagement pictures, portrait pictures, wedding pictures, whatever it is, pick up the phone and need to call that person. You need to actually call them. The only way to understand and get to the root of this problem is to talk to them. Look, we've had this happen where, Michael, we had it happen actually. We had a, a, a couple who didn't like their photographs and we actually picked up the phone, we called them and it, it was like very, it was a very like mysterious email. Like, hey, I'm not, as, I wasn't a super fan of the pictures. We're like, oh my God, like what? We call them, you guys, we called them up and it was just actually more than anything there was just so so much that occurred. Um, a, a family member had actually passed away. There was there was so much going on in the head that like they weren't able to fully be themselves during the shoe. Like long story short, it had nothing to do with the way that we photographed it, and had everything to do with outside circumstances that we couldn't have solved in that moment, but that we were now able to let ourselves off the hook, understand the situation, and solve it. So pick up the phone and really understand why doesn't the client like the pictures, and and ask them. You know, was it the editing? Was it um, um, was there something else that you had in mind? Uh, can you can you point to a couple specific photographs and tell me what you don't like about them so I can better understand how to make this right for you, right? From there, then we've got a lot of places to go. Okay, so let's talk about some of the directions that you can go. Number one is own the shit that you need to own, right? Don't make excuses for it. Don't hop onto a Facebook group and complain about the person who's complaining about your shit work, okay? Own what you need to own. Okay, uh, that's step one. Step two is acknowledge 
that uh, maybe there are things that are more on the client side of things that were out of your control, acknowledge it, uh, and then rise the occasion as, as someone who's in a service-based industry. You guys, we are in a service-based industry. If these are engagement pictures, maybe it is offering uh, to do a reshoot. But before you do a reshoot, understanding what it is that you're actually gonna change. Because you can't just do a reshoot and then do the same damn thing. Otherwise, you're gonna get the same damn email, the same call, right? So you have to have a plan. This is why you have to understand what they uh, didn't like about them, so that way you know, will a reshoot even make sense? If I do a reshoot, will that even make them happy, right? Um, because if it's all about this, maybe it's all about uh, it rained on the day, the weather wasn't what it was supposed to be like, you know, like the, the colors weren't there, it was a little bit dreary, uh, their hair fell down because of the, the humidity. Maybe then a reshoot makes perfect sense. Right? Um, maybe it was about, uh, you know, I, I just really actually like this one side of my face and you constantly put me on the other side. Or maybe it's like, you know, the, the, the poses were too serious and I wanted something more free. Then maybe a reshoot makes sense because now you have the context to go in and change it up. Okay? So uh, understand that. The next thing is you may also need to really think about do you need to change that lighting? That lighting just like shifted. This may be like a come to Jesus moment for you where you you recognize that you may have a, a, a problem client on your hands. If you say, if you pick up the phone and you call them and you get a chance to understand where they're at and you really are self-aware to understand where you delivered and where you can't, um, this may be a time where you have to check yourself and, and, and say, this may not be the best move to continue to shoot the wedding because if, I, if you gave it everything that you got, and everything that you got was not good enough for them, uh, the last thing that I would want to have happen to you and have happen to that client is that you shoot the wedding the same way and they're just disappointed but now they can't go back, okay? So I guess I also wanna encourage you to really have that, that heart check, really have that evaluation to see because there may need to be a conversation that says, uh, I actually think that someone else is gonna be able to serve you better than I can. Look, uh, on this engagement shoot, again, this all comes under the context of picking up the phone, calling them to understand what they didn't like, but if everything that you understand about them is stuff that you feel like you can't change or you can't deliver for the wedding, then you may need to say, I think someone can do a better job. And the last thing I want for you uh, is to have someone on the wedding day that you're not 100% confident. I need you to completely be confident in your wedding photographer, and I think it might be this person here. And so what I wanna do, and if this is the case, and you're actually pulling out of the contract, this is getting into something else, Michael, now. If you're actually pulling yourself out of that contract, then they get their refund back, they just got a free engagement session, and you walk away having learned something. That's my advice, because this is you stepping back and saying someone else is gonna serve you, right? Uh, that's my advice. Now, let's go the complete opposite direction with stuff and say you done gone messed up, right? You shot the whole thing on JPEG small. You uh, you forgot uh, you know your lighting equipment and it was dusk and all the sh the shots are at you know. 6400 ISO and there's still two stops underexposed and then you cranked it up two more stops in post and they're grainy as all get out. Uh, let's talk maybe about the fact that uh, this was your very first engagement session and you didn't know how to pose or direct or make people feel comfortable uh, with anything and the whole shoe was really awkward and the client just didn't like it. What do you do then? Um, I think at that point, uh, if you're getting such a disgruntled client that they wanna walk away, then that's on them. Uh, there's a couple different directions that you can go with this. I'm always in the path of least resistance with this. And I, and I, uh, it's something that I've just personally chosen uh, because I know my heart, I know how much I'm going to weigh on it. If I, if I sit here and I fight against things, I'm like, you signed the contract, it was this amount of money. Like, that's just not going to do anything good for me. It's not gonna do anything good for my world. Uh, I know that it's, this is the problem with doing that. It's a short-term win for a long-term loss. You may, you may keep your 500 bucks that you charge for the engagement session, but now you're gonna carry that emotional uh, baggage and that heart baggage and that weight and that worry and that stress. And what if the negative review pops up? And to me, it's not worth 500 bucks. And so if I've really messed up, uh, uh, then in that situation and they wanna walk away in that situation, I understand, I wave the white flag and I say, look, I understand that you wanna do this, I, I get it. Um, I wanna actually acknowledge that and give you a refund back and allow you to go uh, and, and choose a new photographer. That may not be the solution that some people have. Uh, that's the solution I have because I know myself well enough that the end game is gonna be a net loss. 
uh, if I carry that burden, right? I'm gonna go to work the next day and I'm not gonna get jack done because I'm just gonna be like this erratic and constantly replaying it in my head. Ain't worth it. Take your money uh, and go walk. Um, I think it's that. So um, I think I, I hopefully I hit on on enough things to give people some value there, Michael. Um, you know, I really do. I think ultimately the like the best thing that you can do, the best outcome is to understand what you did wrong, what the client was disappointed with, and to offer a reshoot uh, as long as you feel like you can actually deliver on that, and to to re-deliver those photographs. Right? Um, I think that's the, the the best situation for things. You guys like this video? Comment down below. What question would you like answered? What question? Maybe maybe answer. It's not the right thing. What question would you like my perspective on? Right? I don't have all the answers, but I certainly have my own perspective. What question would you like my perspective on? I'd love to answer it. Drop it in the comments below. Subscribe. Ring the bell, you guys. Take the little mouse clicker. Click it. Take your index finger. Poke it on the phone. You guys, I'll see you in the next episode of Heart to Heart.